안녕하세요, 터미입니다. Let's learn Korean efficiently. Today, I'm going to teach you three grammatical expressions. First, 다가, and, but then. The second, 다가 보니까, while after doing something repeatedly, I realize I come to. And the third, 다가 보면, if you keep doing, then something will likely occur. Wow, we have variety of 다가 today. If you learn today's grammar, 그죠? 살다 보면 사라진다. After just living, you'll come to live. This is a part of the lyrics from 살다 보면 if you live by 차지연. 사라진다 means you will come to live. This is the same pronunciation with 사라진다 to disappear. Therefore, it has two meanings. Wow, such a profound lyric. You'll be able to understand even very deep lyrics like this. Studying with me, you will become a super intermediate master by learning grammar one by one. Let's pass topic to level 4. You can achieve it for sure. 그럼 시작할게요. The first grammar, 다가 means and, but then. As you can see the parentheses, 다가 can be shortened to 다. You use it mainly when a certain action is in progress and that leads to something different. You can use 다가 with verbs only. In the present tense, it is simple because you just add 다가 to a verb stem. For example, 가다 to go will be 가다가 go and then. 먹다 to eat will be 먹다가 eat and then. When you use it in the past tense, it becomes at 어따가. In this case, it means after or but then. You use it to tell that a different situation has come after the preceding action is completed. Note that this grammar at 어따가 focuses on the completion of an action rather than the past. In addition, you mainly use at 어따가 with opposite verb pairs in the preceding and following clauses. For example, you might use 상승하다 to rise in the preceding clause and 하락하다 to fall in the following clause. Okay? To summarize, it is going to be like this. Now, let's read the sample sentence. First, I'll give you an example of 다가. 어제 길을 걷다가 우연히 제가 좋아하는 K-POP 아이돌을 봤어요. Yesterday, I was walking down the street and then I happened to see my favorite K-POP idol. Here, 걷다 is to walk. You attach 다가 to the stem to make 걷다가 walking and then you are walking the street and it is connected to a completely different event like bumping into your favorite idol. So you use 다가. Do you get it? Let's look at the next example. 요새 왜인지 모르겠는데 자다가 일어나면 배가 너무 고파요. These days, I don't know why, but when I wake up after sleeping, I get very hungry. If you toss and turn a lot in bed at night, you will probably be hungry when you wake up in the morning. Here, 자다 is to sleep. You attach 다가 to the stem to make 자다가 when I wake up. 다가 connects the different actions of to sleep and to get up, right? Do you understand this grammar now? Then let's look at the next example. 카페에서 혼자 커피를 마시다가 옛날에 같은 회사에서 일했던 동료를 우연히 만났어요. I was drinking coffee alone at a cafe and then I ran into a colleague who used to work at the same company. Here, 마시다 is to drink. You attach 다가 to the stem to make 커피를 마시다가 I was drinking coffee and then like this, you also use 다가 when an unexpected event happens. Next, let's look at how to use at 어따가. 세계적인 전염병이 급속도로 확산됐다가 어느 시점을 분기로 점점 사라졌다. A worldwide pandemic has spread rapidly, but at a certain point, it's gradually disappeared. Here, 확산되다 means to spread. You attach at 어따가 to the stem to make 확산됐다가 spread but. Here it connects the completely different conditions of spread and disappear using at 어따가. Likewise, you can use at 어따가 to connect states that are the exact opposite. Okay? Then let's look at the next example. 금융감독원은 
A사의 주가가 상승했다가 갑자기 폭락했다고 전했다. The Financial Supervisory Service reported the company A's stock price had risen but suddenly crashed. Here, 상승하다 is to rise. You attach at 얻다가 to the stem to make 상승했다가 had risen but as in this example, you connect the exact opposite words 상승하다 to rise and 폭락하다 to crash with this grammar. Quiz! Then let's deepen our understanding with some quizzes. Which one is the correct answer? Wow, 이 음식은 둘이 하나 죽어도 모를 정도로 맛있네. Wow, this dish is so delicious that two people eat it and do not even notice if one of them dies. Number one, 먹었다가. Number two, 먹다가. What, what? You don't even notice that one of them dies? Actually, this is a Korean idiom to express how delicious the food is. Now, I'll announce the answer. The correct one is number two. Here, 먹다 is to eat. You add 다가 to the stem to make 먹다가 eat. And this idiom, 둘이 먹다가 하나 죽어도 모른다, which means so delicious that two people eat it and not even notice if one of them dies suddenly. Since you want to express while two people eat it, which is in the middle of an action, you use the present tense. Therefore, 먹다가 is more appropriate than 먹었다가. Now, let's read it together. Wow! 이 음식은 둘이 먹다가 하나 죽어도 모를 정도로 맛있네. Please use this interesting proverb with your friends. Now, let's take a look at the next quiz. 그는 매일같이 밤새서 게임 덜국 쓰러졌다. He spent every night playing games and collapsed at the end. Number one, 하다가. Number two, 하느니. The correct answer is number one. 게임하다 is to play games. You attach 다가 to the stem to make 게임하다가 playing games. And number two is wrong because 하느니 means because he plays. Now, let's read it together. 그는 매일같이 밤새서 게임하다가 결국 쓰러졌다. Please read this with a serious feeling. The second grammar, 다가 보니까 means while after doing something repeatedly, I realize, come to. You use this grammar when you discover something new or reach a certain result while doing something. A similar expression is 아오 보니까, I tried and. You can attach this grammar only to the present tense of verbs. The conjugation is simple. You attach 다가 보니까 directly to the stems of verbs. Wow! I love this conjugation. For example, 가다 to go will be 가다 보니까 while I go. 먹다 to eat will be 먹다 보니까 while I eat. As the parentheses indicate, 다가 보니까 has the same meaning when used with 다 보니. Now, Let's read the sample sentence. 처음에는 그 사람이 싫었는데 자꾸 만나다 보니까 좋아졌어요. At first, I didn't like the person, but after meeting him a few times, I came to like him. Here, 만나다 is to meet. You attach 다 보니까 to the stem to make 만나다 보니까 after meeting. This 만나다 보니까 can be replaced by 만나 보니. The meaning will be the same. It's a discovery that you come to like someone after meeting him or her a few times. Thus, you use 다가 보니까. Okay? Now, let's look at the next example. 사람들이 새로운 것을 쓰다 보니까 전통 문화를 많이 잊어버린 것 같아요. I feel people have forgotten a lot of traditional culture while using new things. Here, 쓰다 is to use. You attach 다 보니까 to the stem to make 쓰다 보니까 while using. Let's look at the next example. 남자친구와 이야기하다 보니까 그의 말이 이해가 되었다. After talking with my boyfriend, I began to understand what he was saying. Here, 이야기하다 means to talk. You attach 
다 보니까 to the stem to make 이야기 하다 보니까 after talking. Let's look at the next example. 매일 밤에 과자를 먹다 보니 눈 깜짝할 사이에 5kg나 체중이 늘어났다. Because I ate cookies every night, I gained 5kg in the blink of an eye. It's true that losing weight is hard, but gaining it is very easy and fast. You have to watch what you eat, right? Anyway, go back to the lesson. Here, 먹다 is to eat. You attach 다 보니 to the stem to make 먹다 보니 while eating. Let's look at the next example. 대학교 때 매일같이 술을 마시다 보니 점점 술이 세졌다. When I was in college, I drank alcohol almost every day and my tolerance to alcohol increased gradually. Here, 마시다 is to drink. You attach 다 보니 to the stem to make 마시다 보니 while drinking. Quiz! Then let's deepen our understanding with some quizzes. Which one is the correct answer? 한국 드라마를 자주 이제는 어느 정도 한국어를 이해할 수 있게 됐어요. After watching Korean dramas frequently, I was able to understand Korean to some extent now. Number one, 보다 보니 Number two, 보다 못해 The correct answer is Number one, 보다 is to watch. You attach 다 보니 to the stem to make 보다 보니 after watching. Number two, 보다 못해 is wrong because it means after not being able to watch. It is different from the text. Now, let's read it together. 한국 드라마를 자주 보다 보니 이제는 어느 정도 한국어를 이해할 수 있게 됐어요. Please read it as if you are explaining it to your friend. Now, let's look at the next quiz. 남자친구와 헤어져서 울었는데 배가 고파져서 빵을 먹었다. I broke up with my boyfriend and cried. <laughs> but while I was crying, I got hungry and ate some bread. Number one, 웃다 보니. Number two, 울다 보니. That's a sad but a little bit funny example. It is true that crying makes you hungry. Then let's check the answer. The correct one is number two. 울다 is to cry. You attach 다 보니 to the stem to make 울다 보니 while I was crying. Number one, 웃다 보니 is wrong because it means while I was laughing. Now let's read it together. 남자친구와 헤어져서 울었는데 울다 보니 배가 고파져서 빵을 먹었다. Please read it as if you were in the same situation. The last grammar, 다가 보면 means if you keep doing, then something will likely occur. As it is said, you can express that if you do a certain action, then an outcome will likely occur. In other words, you are making a general assumption. Here, you have to be careful that you can apply 다가 보면 only with the present tense of verbs. 다가 보니까, the one we have just learned, is an expression referring to the past. 다가 보면 is making a general assumption from the present. How to conjugate is to attach 다가 보면 to a verb or an adjective stem. For example, 가다 to go will be 가다 보면 if you go then. 먹다 to eat will be 먹다 보면 if you eat then. Now let's check it out with example sentences. 인생을 살다 보면 좋은 일도 있고 나쁜 일도 있는 법이야. When you live life, there are good things and bad things. This example sounds like the speaker realized something about life. Here, 살다 is to live. You attach 다 보면 to the stem to make 살다 보면 if you are living. Korean people often say 인생을 살다 보면 when you live life to give you advice. So you might want to learn the whole thing. Then let's look at the next example. 한국어는 연습하다 보면 익숙해질 거예요. If you keep practicing Korean, you'll get used to it. Here, 연습하다 is to practice. You attach 다 보면 to the stem to make 연습하다 보면 if you keep practicing. Let's look at the next example. 여행을 하다 보면 위험한 경우도 있지만 
좋은 경험을 할 때가 훨씬 많다. If you are traveling, it's sometimes dangerous, but you'll get more good experiences. That's right, traveling is certainly fun. Here, 여행을 하다 is to travel. You add 다 보면 to the stem to make 여행을 하다 보면 if you are traveling. Now, let's look at the next example. 사업을 확장하다 보면 여러 가지 문제가 생길 수 있습니다. If you keep expanding your business, many problems could occur. Here, 확장하다 is to expand. You add 다 보면 to the stem to make 확장하다 보면 if you keep expanding. Quiz! Then let's deepen our understanding with some quizzes. Which one is the correct answer? 너도 아이를 언젠가는 내 마음을 이해할 수 있을 거야. If you raise a child, you'll understand how I feel someday. Number one, 키우다 보면. Number two, 키웠다 보면. The correct answer is number one. 아이를 키우다 is to raise a child. You attach 다 보면 to the stem to make 아이를 키우다 보면 if you raise a child. Number two. 키웠다 보면 is wrong because it is the past tense. You always make the present tense for this grammar. Okay? Now let's read it together. 너도 아이를 키우다 보면 언젠가는 내 마음을 이해할 수 있을 거야. Please read this as if you were a parent. Let's take a look at the next quiz. 목표를 향해서 계속 언젠가는 성공할 테니까 걱정하지 마. If you keep working hard toward your goal, you will succeed someday, so don't worry. Number one, 노력하다 보면. Number two, 노력한다 보면. The correct answer is number one, 노력하다 is to work hard. You attach 다 보면 to the stem to make 노력하다 보면 if you keep working hard. Number two, 노력한다 보면 is a wrong conjugation. You always attach 다 보면 to the stem. Okay? Now, let's read it together. 목표를 향해서 계속 노력하다 보면 언젠가는 성공할 테니까 걱정하지 마. Please read it with the feeling of encouragement. Oh. Homework! Before I announce the homework, I'll give you today's saying. 계속해서 앞으로 나아가다 보면 언젠가는 도착지에 도달할 것이다. If you keep moving forward, you will reach your destination one day. Albert Einstein So here's your homework for today. There are two homework assignments. First, compose three sentences using today's grammar. For the first sentence, try to use taga and but then. For example, 학교에 가다가 갑자기 배가 고파서 라면을 먹었어요. I was going to school and then I suddenly got hungry and ate ramen. For the second sentence, try to use 다가 보니까 while after doing something repeatedly, I realize come to. For example, 온라인 회의는 처음에 너무 긴장되었지만 하다 보니까 점점 익숙해졌어요. I was very nervous about the online meeting at first, but after doing it, I got used to it. For the third sentence, try to use 다가 보면 if you keep doing, then something will likely occur. For example, 한국 드라마를 많이 보다 보면 지금 한국에서 어떤 말이 유행하고 있는지 알수 있을 거예요. If you keep watching a lot of Korean dramas, then you will also know what kind of word is popular in Korea today. Okay? The second homework is to memorize new words. Please memorize the 40 words from number 1801 to number 1840 on page 23 in the intermediate vocabulary list. There is a vocabulary quiz of 40 words on my website, so just feel free to try it. The link is in the description box. That's all. Thank you again for your hard work today. I am really looking forward to meeting you all and speaking Korean with you guys. 그럼 오늘도 행복 가득, 웃음 가득한 하루 되세요. 한국어 파이팅 파이팅 파이팅!